Це е смол драж на парша на зато браха. І це зве моше бен воз блесін де шватим. І вон де блесін зі сед. І це зо ви гер. И по сути, все их херувим, вали амод, вихи, вихи, ми там исправили зод ли уда. И сейчас, и сейчас, should live, right? И should not die, and so should be to Yehuda. So if you look at the, if you look at the Gemara in Masech Makot, the Gemara says that what is this, what is what's going on over here? He says when Yehuda, he he came to his father, and he says, give me Binyamin, I'm gonna go to to Mitzrayim, and I promise I'm gonna bring you back. If I don't bring you back. I should lose my olam ba and this world, right? So Moshe said, Moshe sees it in the box. Yehuda is not uh, intact. You know, he's running back and forth the bones for 40 years from the day uh, Yehuda died until they went into Israel. The bones of Yehuda were going back and forth. That's what the Gemara says. So when Moshe saw this, he said, "Listen, how, can, how much can Yehuda go back and forth with his bones? He, there he's not in Gan Eden. In this world, he has no rest because he cursed himself." So Moshe Rabbeinu prayed for him and he said, Hashem, why did Reuven do Tshuva? Because of Yehuda. So Reuven is in Gan Eden and Yehuda is suffering in this world. He can't do this. So he prayed to Hashem and he led Yehuda going to Gan Eden. It's a long story what happened all that, but anyway he went to Gan Eden. So the Mephashim asked the question, Reuven did do Tshuva? How do we know? He says when they sold Yosef, where was it, Reuven? Rashi says he was busy with the Besako Betanito, right? He was born in Sackloth, he was doing Tanit. So Ruven already did Shuvah long before Yehuda even sent with Tamar to do Shuvah. So what is Moshe been talking about? What kind of complaint is this against, uh, what kind of uh, Tana is this against Hashem that Ruven learned from Yehuda and he's suffering, he's in Gan Eden right now. So to make it short, Ruven, what was his Shuvah? Ta'anid, right? He made himself suffer. Ta'anid, and he put, he, make his, he put the sako, and he's putting this clothes on himself, and he's, uh, you know, like a tzadikim, they're rolling snow, he's doing all this yisurim on himself. What did Yehuda do? He didn't do all these things. All he did was say, you know what? I'm wrong, finished. Right? I'm wrong. So Rabbam says, what's the mitzvah of tshuva? The main mitzvah of tshuva is we do it. To say, I'm wrong. Hashem, I this, this is I'm not doing it again. That's the main, that's the asya of tshuva, right? So this is what Moshe Rabbeinu said. Before Yehuda came, Reuven told, what is Shua? Oh, I have to suffer. I can't sleep. I have to go to Galud. I cannot eat. I cannot sleep. I cannot have to cry all day. That's what Shua is. So Moshe Rabbeinu says, no, that's not Shua. Shua is what Yehuda did. He said, Hashem, I'm sorry. I was wrong. That's Shua. So this is what Reuven learned from Yehuda. Shua is not what he did all this time. But Shua is, is to admit that he was wrong. That's all you have to do for Shua. And that's what Moshe Rabbeinu says. So Hashem, this is Ruven did Shua. After Yehuda did Shua, Ruven learned from Yehuda. So if Ruven is in Gan Eden, so to Yehuda should be in Gan Eden. How do we know this? Because Gemara says, if the rabbi is in Gan, if the student is in Gan Eden, the rabbi also has to Gan Eden. If the rabbi goes to Galut, the student goes to Galut because he killed somebody, they take the rabbi also to Galut with him. Right? So here I would tell also Ruven was a student of Yehuda. So if Ruven is in Gan Eden, so you gotta send Yehuda also to Gan Eden then. That's what that was a prayer of Moshe Rabbeinu.